Hello YouTube. I presume many of you are familiar with the name Tesla, the electric car manufacturer that everybody and their dog is talking about lately. And if you are familiar with Tesla, then, you probably also know Elon Musk, the man behind the company, the creator or the founder of the Tesla Motors. But what if I told you, that, Tesla Motors was not founded by Musk, but by someone you have never heard of. Let's get into it. The Story of Tesla it was early 2000s, and a man named Martin Eberhard wanted to own a sports car. But there was one problem, all the sports car available in the market at the time, were fuel-hungry monsters, and Martin didn't want to contribute, in polluting the environment. At this point, any ordinary person would give up the idea of owning a sports car, but Martin was no ordinary person, so, he decided to make his own sports car, one that will not run on fuel, but will run on a cleaner source, electricity. So, in the July of 2003, Martin with his buddy Mark, founded the Tesla Motors. It was not the first time that Martin had founded a company, and not the first time he had founded one with Mark. You see, in the 1997, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening had founded a company named Novo Media. At this company, they created one of the earliest ebook reader named Rocket ebook. The product became so popular that, in the year 2000, they sold their company Novo Media for $187 million. In the early days of the company, Tesla was totally financed by Mark and Landmark. It wasn't until February of 2004 that Tesla decided to get some money from the investors. So, they announced Series A round of investment, and here enters Elon Musk in the picture. By investing $7.35 million, Elon Musk became the chairman of the company. Musk quickly took control of the company. He employed the people who had created the SpaceX logo to design a logo for Tesla. At the same time, Musk was also overseeing the production of the Roadster. Things started to move ahead, with minor conflicts between CEO Martin and Chairman Musk. Tesla finally unveiled the first prototype of the Roadster to the public on July the 19th, 2006, and things were looking good for Tesla. Only one year had passed since Tesla had shown its Roadster to public, and the tensions were all-time high between Martin Eberhard and Elon Musk. And due to these escalating tensions, in August of 2007, Martin was asked by the board of directors to resign from his post of CEO of the company. Musk was appointed as the new CEO of Tesla, and Martin had been given a new job title, President of Technology. And after four months being ousted as the CEO, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening left the company in January of 2008. Tesla finally launched the Roadster in February of 2008, and as a twisted turn of fate, the first Roadster was not owned by the man who had dreamed of this magnificent beauty. Rather, the first Roadster was delivered to Elon Musk. Since 2008, Tesla have faced many ups and downs, but Elon Musk had been able to convince the investors to keep on investing in the company and managed to keep the company running. Recently it is estimated that Tesla is finally going to be profitable for the first time. Tesla have come a long way since the launch of its first car. It is no longer the dream that Martin Eberhard once had. Now it is just another automobile manufacturer who want to sell its electric vehicles to everyone.